His all-metal counterpart is the Grumman F-14, the Navy's new generation, no trade-off, no compromise, air superiority fighter. Designed against exacting mission requirements, it draws the past, the present, and the near future together in a single combat machine. The F-14, combining exceptional power and a variable sweep wing, has the energy and maneuverability vital to controlling fighter engagements. Tomcat's ability to automatically adjust its wing to its speed allows for unmatched agility in close turning combat. So here we give a fighter the capability to turn when you put that in combination with the vertical capability of the aircraft. Uh, you always shaking your head say, you know, it's just not possible for an airplane to turn like this. Tomcat's all internal fuel capacity accounts for some of its size, gives it extended range and endurance, lets it take the fight to the enemy, and once engaged has the combat fuel needed to win. This airplane can leap off from the carrier with a fighter load, four missiles, spares, a full gun, a couple of sidewinders, full internal fuel, no tanks. Run out 350 miles, engage for two minutes at max AB, hustle back to the ship, hold overhead for 20 minutes, and land with 2,000 pounds of fuel. That's without tanking and no external tanks. The detection range of its AUG-9 weapon system is three times that of any in existence, allowing much earlier detection, initial positioning, first firing, and maneuvering for next advantage. Taking advantage of this versatile system, the Tomcat employs both number and variety of weapons, from Phoenix missile to Vulcan cannon, can punch hard at extreme ranges, close in, and anywhere between. In the ACM mode, you can actually see out of this airplane. Visibility is, is unrestricted, or nearly unrestricted, in all quadrants. You can twist in your seat enough to see right between the vertical tails, which is a tremendous asset in a dogfight situation. Controllability is this fighter's trademark at the maneuvering extremes of air combat to its behavior around the ship. An honest, safety-prone machine throughout its tactical envelope. Yes, they should have a very impressive uh, safety record. When Tomcat is based ashore, its stall-like qualities allow it to land in 1,800 feet and get airborne again in 900 feet, completing the entire evolution in less than 3,000 feet. All criteria considered, the exceptionally agile two-man swing-wing Tomcat with its versatile weapon system blends total force flexibility in all roles. Since there are no points for second place in air combat, the F-14 is by design a criteria-conscious combination of hardware and performance that allows us to match wits with any situation an enemy might create now or in the near future. Today, the F-14 is what it is because it reflects all the criteria essential to, but never achieved before in any single fighter. It does not compromise one performance area for another, and its versatility will provide us with a means to respond for years to come. <laughs>